Hello there, and thanks for coming to check out this quick video on the Oligo Scan. That is another technology that we have here at Cedarwood to help you with getting to the root cause issues that might be holding up your health. I'm Dr. Susie Harris. I'm the owner of Cedarwood Natural Health Center, and we are all about coming up with root causes. What's the underlying cause for a person's pre-diabetes, um, maybe gut issues, could be hormonal imbalances, fatigue, headaches, you know, you've fixed the diet, you're exercising, you're getting good sleep, and you're not seeing yourself get this issue under wraps. So, you know, typically we have a person in our office doing the autonomic response testing, the muscle testing that we do here. We're using the test kits and being able to detect funguses and parasites and toxins and, you know, food sensitivities, all the cool stuff we do with the muscle testing. Now, if we come up with metals in our muscle testing, or if we came up with metals in another scan uh, called the thermometry scan, there's an additional uh, tool I've brought in that seems to give me a better way of measuring if we're making a difference. Okay. And you know, it's interesting. I come up with these uh, technologies. I learn about them from my patients who've had complex health problems and they've had to seek out uh, specialized uh, practitioners, you know, alternative centers that are Lyme specialists, cancer specialists, you know, disease level things that people are struggling with. And while my patients are getting care from these facilities, they're coming back to me with the muscle testing and saying, hey, I wonder if you could check out getting one of these scans. It would make it easier. I don't have to travel back to Seattle or New York or wherever to monitor how I'm doing with this process. So the oligo scan is one of those things. Um, it's this very interesting tool. At first I was like, this is not possible. This seems ridiculous, but I've really been watching it bring very valid data and then also letting us hone in and get deeper results on getting metals out of people's bodies. So it's this uh, tool here. This is like a infrared, um, light that gets shined onto four points on the hand. It's just a clicking, hold it for a second, go to the next point, hold it for a second, third point, fourth point. And then this is then uh, loaded into the technology to do an interpretation. It's what's happening is the infrared is it's light refraction. So the way that the light rebounds off the tissues can detect minerals. Okay. So it can detect minerals and also some vitamins that are in the tissues. So I ran this on myself. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. The report looks like this. I don't know if you can read that, but um, just to give you an idea, you don't really need to see that, I guess, but in the report, what I saw for myself is that I was very low on iodine and I didn't know that. I thought I was doing okay there. So the other thing I noticed was trace minerals, other trace minerals like chromium, um, magnesium was also a little low on me um, and selenium, which is very good for the thyroid. So I'm like, hmm, iodine and selenium are low and iodine was severely low. Well, that's interesting. It didn't really show up on my blood lab that way. So um, I've been increasing uh, organically bound minerals, which is essentially kelp and gets me some whole food iodine. And I'm going to rescan and see how this changed. I've done it on patients where we've seen pre and post, and we're definitely seeing these levels change. Um, the next page is more about heavy metals. Um, wow. I was surprised because I've done a lot of detoxing, but this showed up with mercury was quite high. And I had a number of mercury fillings uh, when I was younger. I've had them all removed. I've done detoxes and I thought I was good, but this is showing that I had some fairly high levels. So I've done some more advanced testing to see how would I best bind those metals and move them out of my system differently than I have been doing. And then I can use this test to go back again, probably two months, three months of working on it and see 
Am I making any change? Because, you know, metal toxicity, the metals can create a situation where your cells are not able to connect with hormones, nutrients that are needed for function. They're also not able to do a detoxification um, process that allows you to move metabolic waste out of your body. So metal toxicities can really hold a body stagnant for being able to bring nutrients in and get toxins out. And that leads to inflammation, poor gut performance, and precursors for disease. So super great thing. If we pick up a metal in our muscle testing or from the thermometry scan, I've been wanting to add this to give us a baseline of what metals, besides what I pick up with my kits, I think my kits are super accurate and awesome, but I'm noticing that even when the kits look like we're all set, there are some hidden in the tissues metals that I'm not necessarily always picking up. So that's what the Oligo scan is. If you've uh, gotten the postcard and checked out this video, it's probably because I thought it might be right for you. So if you find it interesting, I'd love to show you how we can help you detect in yourself. Um, before I go, actually, I didn't mention that it also checks the ratios of like the calcium magnesium ratios, the copper and zinc, the potassium and um, sodium. And then also it shows us some of the vitamins, vitamin A and B and C and D and E. So this is fascinating to me and I'm excited to be using it with people. Um, like I say, it's just a little deeper dive that lets us get a bit more advanced in how we're trying to move out toxins, move in nutrients so your body can know what it do, knows to do, which is heal. Okay. You've got the ability to be your own self healer. We just need to remove any issues that might be blocking that. So if you're interested in checking it out, please call our office 802-863-5828. And you can talk to my staff about setting up a scan and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. All right. Take care of yourself.